Absolutely. Yeah. I totally agree with you. Are you ashamed to be a lawyer today? Are you ashamed? No, I'm not, because I'm not doing what they're doing. I'm not ashamed of being a lawyer. Because for anybody who has studied history, the United States of America is supposed to be the beacon of democratic practice the whole world over. And what profession made it so? The legal profession. That's right. All the great American presidents that reformed the system and cleaned it yeah. up. Were lawyers. Were lawyers. All the great revolutionaries, and I'm not here praising lawyers, but starting even with Castro Mandela, a lot of visionary leaders have been lawyers. Law, fortunately for some of us, has produced some of the most transformative figures in the world. So it is unfortunate that in Kenya, the legal profession is now synonymous with rot. Correctly so. Yeah. When you look at their bill of costs or their so-called fee note, why would Amir Nasir be charging 25 million before he even knows how long the case is going mm. to take? Mm. And in a petition, which is not really civil litigation that takes a long time, you prepare your documents, you go to court, probably sometimes examinations are done, but in this case, it was an appeal. So it's a paper review. It's just on the basis of errors that the court below made, legal errors, mainly legal errors. And it is an argument that is conducted either one day to three days. Why would you be charging 25 million? Because he's the grand ruler. Maguna, let me ask you this real quick before we go to break. Now, and what court has been saying all along, the presidential election, the petition in the presidential election. Not necessarily because, um, you see, it's like saying one plus three is six. In law, every case must be determined on its own merits. Okay. So the only thing is that people can now speculate as to whether or not, in fact, yeah. the judiciary was compromised. Was it compromised? In view of the fact that the president is richer than Kidero by far, mm. and if Kidero could give, allegedly could give, uh, 200 million Kenya shillings. 300 million. 300 million sh uh, shillings, and maybe even more, mm. because he must have given, if it is true that he gave, it is possible also that he could have given uh, some to the lower courts. And there are other busy bodies that could also have taken money. My friend Kidero is a very funny character. Mm. And he's a character that I'm ashamed to call governor of Nairobi. Hold that thought, Miguna. Yeah. Hold that thought because I want to talk about that after the break. And also, going forward, I mean, we, the election is 2017. It's, it's 18 months away. Yes.